Hey guys, Northeast Ohio Sports Cards here. Back for another video. And today we are going to talk about Starstock, a new buying and selling platform. Uh, before we get into that, don't forget the YouTube nonsense down below. I always forget it. This time I didn't. Actually, I did because I'm re-recording the intro. So don't forget the YouTube stuff down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get into what this new selling platform, buying and selling platform, is all about. Uh, for those not aware, uh, I first came across this on the Sports Card Investor YouTube page. Had the, I don't know, creator, PR guy, whatever, president on talking about the site. It was intriguing, the concept. Um, I did not... Uh, immediately sign up for it or anything. Uh, it's been live for a little over a month now, maybe two. Uh, but I've been hearing a little bit more and more about it, and I figured I'd give it a little test run. So the concept is you buy and sell cards on here, but you they physically hold on to the cards until you request them. So you could send cards into them. There's a whole submission process. I personally have not sent cards into them yet, so I am not going to get super in-depth into that. But the gist is, is you take a pile of cards. Uh, key here is rookies only. Uh, they are only accepting rookie cards of players. All sports. Uh, baseball, basketball, football. No hockey yet. Um, and no soccer yet. So you send the cards into them. You, you put a list, whatever. Takes them a couple weeks. They add them into your vault. Once they're in the vault, you can then just let them sit there. You can post them and price them. Uh, there are no auctions. Everything's buy it now or best offer. Uh, the fees are 1%, I believe. They're extremely cheap. Uh, and that's essentially the gist of it. Now... They, you can send graded cards in, but if you send raw cards in, they put their own rating on them as A, B, or C. What that means, I have no idea. I just know A is the best. Uh, I don't know that that would necessarily, they, and I think they even say it will not guarantee like a PSA 10 or anything. Uh, but my guess is an A is probably at minimum like a PSA 9, uh, a BGS 9, an SGC 9, and up. You know, there very well could be a, a potential 10 in there. So the concept is, is that you could buy and sell cards essentially instantly. I was intrigued by this. Um, and the other day, I figured I would give it a whirl. I didn't feel like sending cards in. So what I did was, is I deposited 25 bucks on the site uh, and said, what the hell? Let's see what we could do with this $25. So that was um, the day that I did that was Bull Bull Mania Day. Uh, it was early in that first quarter. He was going, beginning to go crazy. Um, the sports card world, Twitter, Discord, social media network was a buzz. So I said, let me see what is on here for Bull Bull. Um, so I popped on, searched for Bull Bull, and picked up some stuff uh, for pretty cheap. Uh, so essentially the way that this works is you could come down here and select the sport, or you could just type in a player name, hit enter, and it'll pull up all the cards for that player there in the database. So you could see Bull Bull Base Prism here, Base Donruss, there's all sorts of stuff. You know, select, um, Silvers, you know, whatever. So let's just go to base prism. You just click on it. And then you can see here the categories. A, B, C. If there was a graded card, it would be listed above this. There's no graded cards in the vault right now on him. And then you can see right now there are 34 in the vault, but only 5 are for sale. Uh, and then you can see if you, you could buy it right now for $34. Or there are 109 offers with the highest one being $25. So if you had Bull Bull you would get a notification that someone submitted an offer of $25 and you could choose to accept that or not if you have the card listed. If you do, boom, the card transfers over to their account 
they then have the card and they can immediately do whatever they want with it in, in regards to reposting it or selling it or requesting it to be sent to the actual physical card sent to you. Uh, so let's go up here really quick and go to my activity. So let's scroll down here. And I put $25 on, so I have not bought like any crazy big name players. But you can see on 722, I bought uh, three Bull Bull base optics for $250 a piece. Oops, sorry about that. Um, a bunch of base Donruss, uh, a Rui, and a Bull Bull Hoops for $425. So Rui was the most expensive one that I bought for $749, and then I bought all this other. Bull Bull stuff. This was my price paid. And you'll notice today, it's all 722 and This was, like I said, during the first quarter of uh, this scrimmage uh, last week when he went nuts. So that's what I bought. Let's go over here to what I sold. So we go back down to the bottom again, and we could see the same day those $2.50 Don Russes that I bought, I sold for 9 bucks a piece. So I made, you know, by the time you factor in the, the, the small fee... Um, you know, about six bucks a card times five in literally the matter of like an hour. I bought these in the first quarter. This was, I bought out the entire stock that was on uh star stock and then immediately reposted them for eight 99. By the end of the game, they were all sold. Uh, the hoops sold the next day for 15 bucks. I bought this for four fifty the day before. Uh, the optics took a little bit longer to sell because um, he piped way up. I probably had them priced a little too high. They came back down. I sold these for five, but I bought them for like two fifty or three. I forget which. And then the last one sold for eight dollars. Um, let me open. This might be easier this way. So with my twenty five dollars, I immediately ran that up to like fifty or fifty five bucks within an hour. Now, that is not going to happen all the time, but to me, this was the perfect example of a use case for this platform. I saw him start to go crazy. I saw the buzz on social media. I hopped on here. I bought a bunch of $2 cards. I spent a total of like 15, 20 bucks. Posted them or waited a few minutes to post them uh, at a much higher price. And they sold. Now, the key was, is I bought out all the inventory of the cards available, or at least all the low-priced inventory. And then the next guy that was above me selling stuff was at, like, $10, so I priced all mine at $8.99 to undercut him all the stuff that I had just bought at, like, $2.50. So then they literally sold by the time the game was over. Um, so I had those profits, and uh, I went in and I bought the Rui for $7.50, um, optic base, and a lot of this was just kind of me messing around. Uh, Kirkus, we've talked about him before on the channel. I bought these for buck twenty-five. I have them uplisted now. I could actually sell these right now for like two fifty or something, but I've just been holding on to them. Uh, I grabbed this Michael Porter Jr. just based on rest. I, you can see I haven't really bought a whole lot of Prism just because I don't have a lot of money in my account, and I'm just kind of doing this as a an experiment. Well, once all the bull bulls sold, I had like 40, 50, 50, 55 bucks, 55 bucks I think I had on my account. So I said, let me see what else is on here. There was only one Ben Simmons card on the entire site. So I grabbed this Ben Simmons Select for $40, which is about what they sell for on eBay, give or take. Uh, you come over here to my sold stuff, and you will see that that Ben Simmons, so I bought that on... Uh, the 24th, I paid 40 bucks for it. I sold it on the 26th for 65 bucks. Uh, I bought this during, I think, the first or second preseason or scrimmage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he was playing quite well. The Sixers looked good. He was getting a little buzzy. So I grabbed it, threw it up for 65. I did not expect it to sell this fast, um, but it did. So then I took that, I bought a couple Shays, uh, just NBA hoops, nothing crazy. Uh, and then I loaded up just recently on a couple just cheaper guys. I got some, you know, Jared Allen selects for two bucks a piece because he's been playing really well. I snagged this Zach Collins for $8. This is a silver prism rookie because uh, I think he's got a chance 
to make a little noise. He's young and super undervalued. I was just looking for stuff that was like dirt cheap. I didn't want to get anything too crazy. Uh, Cam Johnson went a little nuts the other day, so I picked up these red, white, and blues for less than what his base prisms were selling for on here. Um, so currently in my collection, if you go to my collection, this shows what I have. So this you know, shows everything that I currently have in inventory. So I have all this stuff plus $43. Uh, it has been exactly one week that I have used the platform. So I started with 25 bucks. I have 46, now I have $43 in my accounts plus this inventory. Now, once again, this is not anything crazy. This is not thousand dollar cards or whatever, but you know, as something to just kind of experiment with, it's been kind of fun. My theory is, as I've talked about before, stuff is going to get wild once the NBA season kicks back up. Um, I think we've seen a preview with the Bull Bull stuff where prices are going to move extremely quickly, especially on low dollar stuff. So if you're quick on the trigger, I think you could really... I don't want to say grind. It is probably a little bit of a grind. Could grind out a profit on here. At worst case, just have a little bit of fun. You throw 10 bucks in a counter or whatever and see what you could do with it. If, you know, it all goes kaput, it all goes kaput. Worst case scenario, you pull out the cards that you have and, you know, maybe they're duds. But the same thing could happen in real life. But the difference here is, is I don't have to ship anything. I don't have to deal with returns. I don't have to deal with going to the post office. It just happens. Now, it's not all sunshine and roses. Uh, I will say the inventory is very limited on some stuff. And on the flip side of that, the pricing on here is weird. Um, things tend to run a little higher priced than what you would see looking at the same card on eBay. Uh, and I don't know if that's just because of some cards have limited inventory because a lot just haven't been sent in yet. Uh or what the deal there is. But on the lower and cheaper stuff, I think you can find some deals. I think, and I don't know for sure yet, I think the trick to this is going to be, at least on the lower end stuff. I mean, anyone could buy it. Like if I just pick up, uh, you know, Ja, like here's his base prisms. Um, a Starstock A is selling for 160 on here. That's about $50 more than uh a rod goes for on eBay. I think they're sitting around like 110 right now. I could be wrong. I haven't checked. And you can come down here. They actually have handy little charts that shows you what the cards are trading at. So if I just turn off all the grades. So you can see Starstock A. Actually, the last uh, couple sold for 160, actually. So and there's still more on here. Uh, there are nine for sale. Uh, three at 160, two at 170, one at 175, one at 180, and two at 300. Uh, so you can kind of see there what the inventory stuff looks like uh, when it's posted for sale. So I think the best way to go about this is to target players that are cheap, at least for me, just because I don't have a lot of money on here, and I don't feel like putting a lot of money on here. This is just kind of, like I said, a grand experiment is uh, players that are cheap and do not have a lot of inventory on the site. Because I think a key is being able to buy out everything that is listed for sale, or at least buying out everything that's at a reasonable price listed for sale, and then relisting it. Um, his stuff's probably, Cam Johnson's stuff's already uh, shot up in price, I believe. So let's look at Cam Johnson here, his base prism. Uh, and I'm surprised these are actually this cheap. So these are four bucks a piece for his A. And if we come down here, you could see the charts. Uh, yesterday, the 28th, is when he played really well. And you could see people started buying it up. 125, 225, 275, 399, four dollars. And now the cheapest one available on here is four bucks. Um, if I go to buy one of these right now, there's one at four, one at five, one at six seventy five, one at nine, two at ten. So let's say let's use, use, this as, uh, use this as an example. Sorry. 
you're watching the Suns in one of the first round playoff games or the bubble games rather. And Cam Johnson is just lighting it up in the first quarter. If you think he's got some potential to do something, he's got some buzz around him, whatever, I would come on here and buy out these three low priced ones. You know, four, five, and six seventy five, and I would price them all at eight ninety nine. Uh, you know, undercut the rest of the market. These are the types of things that I think you could do on here because uh, the inventory is short, and you get to see, you can see exactly how many there are. If I go here uh, to his uh, just base Donruss paper, nothing crazy, I could see exactly how many are listed and exactly what price they're listed for. So if I see these start to fly, like you could see yesterday, or these are all on the 17th, I'm sorry. Uh, A's all sold for 75 cents. I'm surprised none of these sold the other day. But paper down rust is not very popular. But just to use this as an example. On Bull Bull Day, you could have walked in and swiped up all these if you had the money in your account and then marked it up to just under this. And if people want the card, now you kind of control all the inventory. Now there's 60 in the vault, but there's only 25 for sale on this. Um, but yeah, basketball's on here, baseball is on here. Uh, the site prior to the last couple days was really chugging. Uh, it feels like they've done some back end work to improve the site so it's not running on AOL dial up anymore. I was kind of waiting to record this video until they fixed that because it was really bad for a while. Uh, so there's still some janky things here and there. Um, I wish there was better ways when you post things to buy and sell to like edit listings and stuff like that versus just having to cancel the listing and kind of start over again. Just some odds and ends and stuff like that. But um, if you got 10 or 15 bucks laying around, it might not be bad just to toss it on here and have a little bit of fun and see what happens. You know, you could kind of do the approach that I just described of buy out someone that's hot. Or you could go digging and see if you could find someone that's reasonably priced and hold on to them for a couple weeks, like these shies. Uh, I bought them for nine fifty. The lowest for sale are still nine seventy five. Uh, there's one for nine seventy five, one for ten, one for twelve, one for twenty eight. But I purposely grabbed these uh, to hold on to them for a little bit. Uh, you could see one of these actually sold back in July for as high as fourteen bucks. Um, so I'm going to hold these till they play, you know, the bubble games, maybe a week or two. And I expect this to go up a little bit. It's base hoop, so it's not going to go crazy. But um, it was the cheapest shy card I could find um, on here. So uh, that's essentially the gist of it. I really like the concept. Um, I'm still trying to make my way through the market and how things are priced on here and some of that weirdness. Uh, the site is running a lot better. That's nice. I've heard good things about sending cards in from people that have. It's a fairly painless process. Uh, you basically just print out a list, stick it in a box with penny sleeves, uh, and send them in. And then it takes about, uh, I believe most people have been saying about two to three weeks to get stuff up on the site. Um, but... I guess they've been getting hammered a little bit with everyone sending them stuff, so there might be a little bit of delays there. I've heard graded cards get on much faster uh, because they don't have to review them. It's a graded card. They could just put it straight up there. And there's not a ton of graded stuff on here yet. Uh, there is some, though. If you have any questions um, about the platform, I will try to answer them. I am not super experienced on it, but what I've used so far, I have indeed enjoyed it. Uh, and that's all I got for you guys, so we will catch you on the next one. Peace.